corona is an effect and not from an infection agent coming from the outside world in, but being expressed from the inside out due to a compromised environment. Now you can actually see the evidence of this in the macro world when you look at the forests of Denali, or if you see the deterioration of the coral reefs off the coast of Australia, uh, the Gold Coast. This is happening because the ocean is absorbing air pollution, toxins, carbon monoxide, titanium dioxide, uh, hydrogen uh, cyanide. And, and in doing that, the pH of the ocean is dropping. I, I think a simplified way to understand this is what I call the fishbowl metaphor. And the fishbowl metaphor starts with a question. And the question is this, if the fish is sick, what would you do? Think carefully. Would you treat the fish or would you change the environment in which the fish is living in? In other words, the environment which it, it, it swims in. And nine out of 10 times or more, uh, the logical common sense answer is the fish is only as healthy as the environment it's swimming in. So the fever is the expulsion. Listen to this carefully. The fever and the body's increase in temperature is natural. The body increases a natural fever to move waste out through the pores of the skin through sweating. That is the largest elimination of the organ of the body. When you suppress the fever, you actually end up killing the patient. Germs in of themselves do not, do not cause disease. Seeds do not grow unless they're put in a proper environment. So seeds become plants when they find themselves in soil. Germs are nothing more than biological breakdown products called, called endotoxins, or they are DNA or RNA remnants from your own body cells or from the food that you're eating. The body has to clear that out. So the infection is, is the, the illusion. The actual solution to the pollution then is understanding that this is an outfection coming from the inside out. And exosomes are not the virus. All of the symptoms from the fever to the dry cough is the body trying to expel waste products that are building up in the largest organ of the human body. That's the interstitium, uh, uh, the interstitial fluids, which holds the interstitial fluids, which surround every cell. What makes vaccine so dangerous? It's simple. Read the ingredients. Use common sense. <laughs> Once you've read the ingredients, you ask yourself the question, am I going to inject that into my vascular fluids, which are going to end up in the interstitial fluids and poison every cell in the human body? Systemic poisoning of the interstitial fluids. I measure it. It's called decompensated acidosis of the interstitial fluids of the interstitium. So you must be the change. As Gandhi said, you must be the change you want to see because it's your body, it's your life, and it's your choice.